So who is the beneficiary of the present electoral practice? We are therefore advise the APC and all well-meaning Nigerians to join hands and join the other international community in, in, in condemning the electoral malpractices and stop acting as, as a culpable party in the grant to subvert the will of the people. They lack the locus standi to call for the arrest of anyone speaking out against electoral malpractice as they can't be judged in their own case. The APC statement is therefore fundamentally flawed, technically and morally dubious, and should be totally disregarded. That is my own view. We expect that the, we expect the state to treat those speaking out against irregularities as partners in progress for helping in building a sound, sane, and vibrant democratic society that is, that is intolerant of all forms of electoral criminality. The most fundamental future of democracy is free, credible, and fair elections, and any, any deviation or departure from this vital element renders the whole process, render the whole electoral process an exercise in futility. This can rise to a myriad of social and political consequences, some of which may be too grave to bear. So to speak out against electoral malpractices and rigging should not be taken as public incitement to violence. Those condemning the widespread irregularities associated with this election should never be crucified. The truth remains that it is only in that is only in justice, equity, and fairness that peace can prevail in society because people are naturally bound to agitate once their rights is subverted. Niger and others that makes Africa will be able to take the population from Nigeria. Therefore, if we haven't seen war and we start blowing or beating the drum of war, it is unacceptable. Therefore, we want to urge the president and commander in chief, even though he has set up transition committee, to wait into this matter. INEC is an establishment even though autonomous, but once we assured Nigerians that we are going to use beavers, and we know with the beavers usage, it authenticates and counts immediately. I personally was at a police settlement polling unit. I saw a different thing on that day. Elections were being, votes were being casted up to 2.30 a.m. We are in this part of the world. I have videos that I sent on Facebook. I sent Barai. It is not done. And even voting was extended till the next day, which ought not to be. We observed 2011 elections, 2015, and even 2019. Why is 2023 elections different? We need to embrace this because what peace fails to achieve, the possibility of violence achieving it is zero. I am from the northern part of the country here. By and large, northerners are even more attached to NNPP of Guangkoso to an extension the APC, PDP, and other parties. The issues we are talking about here is not issue of party like I mentioned to you. We are talking about the country called Nigeria. You don't forget, they had said we are going to split in 2015, which never happened. 2023 should be a testing ground for our unity because what we want is the continuous existence of peace and unity in the country.